Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we will install Wildfly, JBoss Wildfly using Docker. So it's a very easy one to install if you are using Docker. So I'm in terminal right now. So I'm just checking my Docker version. So Docker is there. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is I want to pull JBoss Wildfly image. Okay, so right now it's pulling that image, and after that, after that, I need to run two more comments. So here is the list of comments. So if we are to boot in standalone mode with admin console available remotely, I can use this one. To boot in domain mode, I can use this one also. So I'm going for the second option where Okay, so downloading is still downloading is pending. So you can go some other application deployment. Yeah, how we will deploy a particular application. We can use the CLI, we can use the web console, you can use the management API directly also. You can use the deployment scanner. So we are copying to a particular uh, folder and it will take in the fourth one so yeah it's download is completed so I am going to run our particular command right now so I need to make some changes here especially on ports I need to change something so if I am going here I will choose this one for admin and then 93 and here probably I will use 8180 uh, the remaining is same Okay, so the JBoss is starter. So in Docker, it's very easy to start. So we will try to access that endpoint. So localhost 8180 Wildfly. Welcome to Wildfly. Click start admin console so we, in my case I change into 993 so this is our admin con console to add a new user execute add use and user dot sh script within the bin folder of your wildfly installation and enter the request information so that's that's all installing wildfly using the docker so it's very easy just running uh, yeah, just uh, pulling the image and run based on the port number, port binding. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.